Hi everyone, welcome to week six. My name is Justine and I'm here with Vanessa. We're going to do the last week of your six week program today. We're going to be doing a little bit more uh, work with intervals. We're going to be extending them out a little bit. Let's get started with the warm up. Vanessa's going to take you through it. I'm going to chat from the side. All right, we're just starting with a minute. We're going to do some step ups. Nice and easy, keeping it going. Now, making sure you notice, like with Vanessa, she has got her whole foot onto the step there. We're just doing one leg, so you don't alternate at this point because we're just going to warm up each leg independently. Nice and easy. Couple more seconds. Head is up, shoulders are relaxed. And changing legs. Here we go, nice and easy. This is the easy part. So what we're doing is just getting the body prepared for what it's going to be doing next, which is just a little bit of all over body work. So we're not going to be concentrating in any one area. This is kind of an all over routine that you want to be doing a couple of times per week. If you want to concentrate on a certain body part, we can go in and look through eFit and find that body part and concentrate in on another day. Couple more seconds for us. We're going to change to some squats. Let's do it, V. Nice and easy. What you're going to see with Vanessa now, I guess I'll turn on the side a little bit more for you. When you are squatting, you want to make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart. Your shoulders, you should really be armpits, so you don't want to be too much wider. Keep your knees so that they come over your toes. You don't want them to be coming on the inside of your feet, and you don't want to be coming them over the front of your toes. So the way to do that, you're going to squeeze the hips, the hips. Squeeze the glutes, keep the hips in neutral and just slide back and down. Squeeze the glutes to come back up again. Hips nice and square. Make sure you're using your left and right side equally. And the way to check that is in a mirror actually, or a sliding door, a piece of glass where you can see your reflection. We've got a couple more to go and we're going to change it up to lunges. So three, two and one. Fantastic. With lunges, if you're a beginner, don't have your knees um, your feet very close together, keep them shoulder width apart. That's going to give you a little bit more stability. The more advanced you are, the closer you can have your feet. When you're coming forward, I want you to catch with the heel. You can see with V, she's putting the heel down. There you go. And toe is second and she's pushing up with the, the heel. That way she can use her backside. All the underneath of her leg, just keeping a nice right angle. That's what you're aiming for. Nice and soft, nice and gently. You can vary it up with the length of step that you do. We're just keeping it fairly mid-range. And last one, we're gonna go down and we're also going to warm up with push-ups today. One of the most common things that we see is the chicken head. Don't drop your chin down, keeping it, your back nice and straight. Don't look back. We're coming onto knees, tucking bottom in. You'll see V's on a really nice straight line there. Her hands are slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Her elbows are coming down to a right angle and she's squeezing to come up. So we're just doing a warm up, it's nice and light. She's just gonna drop in and push back up again. Three, two, and one, fantastic. All right, we're gonna get started with the routine now. We're gonna change up your intervals. You have been doing different ones. Today we're going in for 45 seconds. We're going to get started with some toe taps. Ready, steady, and go. Right in front of the step, that's all you're gonna to need today. Toes come up, tap, 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 nice and light. Keeping the shoulders down, keeping the core on, Knees are nice and soft. You're just tapping the foot up. You're not transferring the weight. You're 15 seconds in. What V's doing is concentrating on breathing. Breathing in, in, out, out. Get yourself a rhythm. That's how you keep it going. If you want to modify, you can slow it down. There you go. This program is designed so that you can work at your rate. You don't have to work at V's rate. You don't have to work at my rate. You work at your rate. You've only got six seconds left to go. That was quick. A few more, three. Two, one, we're giving you 15 second rest now. Okay, push all of the air out of your lungs, take a deep breath in through the nose, get set up. We're gonna elevate feet, we're gonna go into a push up. So you've got your step right next to you, or your coffee table, whatever it is that you're using, or a chair. Bottom is up, again, feet slightly wider, feet, hands slightly wider than shoulder fit, fit, 
I'm going to start that again. Hands are slightly wider than shoulder width apart. All right, so coming down nice and gently. If you're a beginner, you can still try this, but only go down as far as you can. That's it. Come down to your right angle nice and light. You've got 25 seconds left to go. When you've had a bit of recovery, right, you've started on your toes, you feel a bit tired, you come down to your knees to recover, you get back into it, come back up onto toes. Pushing it up and then finishing it off nice and strong. What you should be aiming to do is feel like at the end of the set you really can't do any more and it's hard work. That's what we're aiming for, so make sure you take this opportunity to push it through. You're going to have a rest. We're going into jumping jacks, so you need to get back up onto the feet for us. Nice and easy. Feet together. Nice and relaxed through shoulders. We've got three seconds to go. Make sure you've got your breath back. Go. Nice and light. Hands are up. Now, V's got really soft landings. Okay, you can barely hear her feet landing. And that's not just because I've got the microphone either, thank you very much. That's because she's not dropping through that first part of the push. She's actually working to catch herself. So make sure you work to catch yourself on the way down. It's like a, a jumping tiptoe. All right, you should be breathing heavily because we're getting heart rates back up again. All right, go, go, go. You can modify these if you want to, but we're gonna keep it up at the moment. 10 seconds to go. We bring it up, nice and easy. He's enjoying this, I can tell. Three. Two, one, we're gonna relax. Side taps. So this is now we're just gonna do a little bit of control work. What we wanna do is we're gonna stand you on the side. V's gonna show you, you're gonna come down into like a little bit of a crouch. And that is the position you are going to hold. You don't wanna come up any higher. You're gonna tap the foot out. Weight is gonna stay through the leg that you're standing on. Stabilise with your glute. You'll see that the arch in, in V's foot is really, really stable, keeping the weight on the whole foot, lifting up through the arch so you can maintain some stability. Back is not rounded. She is so flat, she is textbook. She's doing very, very well. Okay, just tapping it out nice and lightly, not transferring the weight, keeping it up. If you can't go this quickly, you just slow it down. You know, if you get tired, slow it down, recover. But what we are doing is keeping the weight through that leg that's staying on the ground. You've only got a seven seconds left to go. So don't give it up now, keep holding it up. Keep working it, it's two, it's one, it's done. Okay, you've got a couple of seconds, shake it out if you need to. You're gonna turn around and do the other side for us. Getting into position, you've actually got a few seconds now. If you feel like you wanna have a quick sip, do. Don't take too much or you'll, it won't sit so well through the workout. Let's go, down nice and low. Weight up on the outside of the foot, lift up through the arch, tapping it out, keeping shoulder blades behind, pinch together at the bottom. When you do that, it lifts up your chest a little bit. Doesn't stick your chest out, but it keeps you in good postural alignment there, and that's exactly what we're looking for. When you drop your head forward, you cut off your breathing, so you wanna keep your head up and back, and you're gonna keep maintaining a good rhythm with your breath. This is just a nice active recovery exercise, getting the burn through the leg on the ground. Keeping it going, you've got eight seconds to go, we're almost there. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, fantastic. We're going back into now, we're going into a type of squat. We're gonna do a squat front kick, is exactly the way it sounds, the feet are shoulder width apart. Facing the front, you're gonna send the hips back forward first, and then we're gonna kick forward. Let's go, squat down, kick forward. We're gonna stay on the same leg. Oh, we're not, we're alternating. That was a surprise for you all. It was a surprise for me too. <laughs> Here we go, nice and easy, keeping it going. Come down nice and low, kick it up nice and high. Put a little bit of effort in, try and get that leg up as high as you can through there. That's right, beautiful. Of course, if you're finding this is a lot of work, which you should be because you should be putting 110% in here, you can just slow it down and ease it off just a fraction. Yep, so you don't have to do quite so many. When you're feeling like you're a bit recovered, bring it back up again. You've only got a few seconds to go. So five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going down. We're going to be doing a reverse lunge. There we go. Facing forward, shoulders back. Let's go. Step back. 
Good, so we're gonna keep working through glutes here. Good. Fantastic. So what you can see again, Vanessa's weight is gonna stay over the front foot. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was the vodka in the break, wasn't it? <laughs> it's staying over the front foot here. Okay, she's not sending it back, but her weight isn't through her toe. The weight is through her heel more. Using her glute, which is her butt, to come back up again. Bending the, so you step the foot back, bend the knee. Beautiful. The faster you go, sometimes the less stability you have. So what we want to do is get a one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Beautiful work. We're going to do box jumps. Wow, these legs had a little bit of a hammering at the moment, so get your breath back. With these box jumps, we're going to be doing some plyometrics, really soft landing, starting with soft knees and go. Up, down, both feet up. Nice landings, nice and light. You can modify when you've had enough. Slow it down. Have a rest. Soft with your landing still. Good. It does not have to be high. Beautiful work. You know you've got a few to go. 45 seconds is a long time to do these. You're getting your calves working. This is really important when you put on high heels, which we do all the time around here. A couple more. Bring it back up. You've only got a few seconds to go. Take the pace back up. This is where you want to make the, the effort. You don't have to hold back because you're nearly done. Great, recover. Let's come down. Come on the floor, have a lie down. We're going to do a plank. We're going to modify it. We're going to put some legs in the air. That's exciting, doing something a little bit different. So what we're doing again is some active recovery. So you know you're still working while your body recovers. We're up and we're started. So toe tapping out to the sides. What's happening here, core is working really hard to keep pelvis level, keeping it nice and stable. You need to make sure you are fighting the urge to stick your bum in the air. You want to keep it nice and flat. It's called a plank, not a bridge. Nice and low. Good work. You can tap down, having a rest on the out, that's it. Nice and controlled, we've only got 10 seconds to go or so. Keep it coming. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Okay, head is not looking back down towards your feet. You want to keep it looking at your hands. Well done. Bicycle crunch. Well, we're giving you two things. You can have a bit of a lay down. This is feeling less like a workout and more like just a relax. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Bicycle. I don't ride my bike like this, just quietly. Here we go. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. What you're working to do is stabilise through core. That's not moving. Legs and arms are moving. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Now you can modify this again. You can go slower and roll from elbow to elbow. That takes the pressure out of the neck, takes the pressure out of the shoulders, makes it a little bit easier or you can just keep it going just normally. What we don't want to see is people going violently really, really fast and having no control. It's making sure you do have that control through the middle there that does all the work. So slow is not bad, slow is good. Control is fantastic. Excellent work. Guess what? That is round one. We're going to go to an ad now, but we're going to see you back here very, very shortly. Have a small drink and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, everyone, we are back from break, ready to go. Getting straight into it. Going straight back into your toe taps onto the step. Ready, go. <laughs> Beautiful, nice and light. We're gonna do two run throughs back to back. So I want you to keep your energy up for this. Doesn't matter if you sweat a bit, that means it's working. Go to your level. Keep breathing, stay relaxed. I know that's hard to do while you Stamping on a step. Keep it coming. 20 seconds to go for me. Good. Remember, if you are feeling like you, that's it, there's no more you can do, just take it down a notch. 
Very, very simple, very, very easy. Means you don't have to stop because the whole point of this is we want to keep you moving for the whole time. You've got breaks in between and they're the times we want you to use, okay? Otherwise, keep it up. Oh, stopped, well done. We're gonna do the push up with feet that are elevated. All right, the reason we're gonna elevate them is we're just gonna do a little bit more work through shoulders. Shoulders are really important for looking good in singlets. Three, two, and one, let's go. That's not true, they do other things as well. They wave to your friends. Okay, she's keeping her elbows out to the side. There we go. We're at a right angle coming down, so she's not going all the way down here, we're just going halfway if you need to modify. Coming off the step, lowering it down. Really important to remember, you notice V's not looking back towards her knees or towards her feet. She's looking a little bit ahead, keeping the head up so you don't get that hump in the middle of your back. You don't want that, you want to keep it nice and flat. When you're activating, you're going to activate your chest, so give it a squeeze for me. Underneath the armpits, through your chest, making sure shoulder blades are squeezed together at the back there. You're done. Come up to feet for me, we're going to do some jumping jacks. All right. You have 15 seconds to recover. All right, so we can go hard for this one. You've got four more seconds left. Don't be tempted to start early, rest. Now go hard. And that's the whole point we do intervals, okay? So if you have a little bit of a rest in between, you can do a little bit more in the work. And that's what we want. We want to keep you working for longer and we want to keep you working a little bit harder. Every little bit more that you put in here is a little bit more that comes off the bottom line at the end and that's what this whole program is about. Keep it nice and relaxed. Again, remember, you can modify these and come down just a fraction. You can slow it down and do it at your level. There are so many different ways of doing things. Jumping is awesome, it's getting your blood flowing, getting the body really working. Arms are working, legs are working, lungs are working. You have 30 seconds to go, two and one. Now you've got a rest period. All right, we're gonna do side taps. Remember, this is another active rest. So we're still gonna keep these glutes working. We're gonna activate them. My recommendation, start on your weak side first. So your weak side would be the side that you are standing on. The tap is your stronger side, it's going out. So for V, it's her left side. It's really important. I think sometimes if you do your strong side and wear that out first, it makes it harder for your weaker side the next time round. That's just my thought. We're keeping weight on the leg on the ground, the toe tapping out nice and light. It's not thumping down and she is not transferring her body weight out. Nice, good. And hips are staying nice and level. You can see that there. They're not moving all over the show. Back is nice and relaxed and down. Shoulders are relaxed. And that's something that you have to work through every single set. As your body feels like it's working hard and it gets a little bit stressed and a bit tense, shoulders do tend to rise up. Beautiful, rest it down. We're gonna do squats with the front kick. Oh no, we're gonna tap on the other side. <laughs> oh my stars. I could have thrown things into chaos. Three, two, one, and go. See, V is such a good trainer. She told me off without even saying anything. She just gave me the look. Nice light taps, not transferring the weight, really focusing in. So, quads are working to stabilize. And it's really important too, don't just activate one muscle. What are your hamstrings doing? So that's the back of your leg. What's the inner, inside of your thigh doing? Is that activated? Is that supporting as well? So really feel the muscles that you're working. Don't just switch them off and blithely go through it. Really be there and really feel which ones are, are working. What's your quad doing? Where is your weight when you're standing now? Are you using your whole foot? Or are you just using your heel? Are you standing through your toes? What I want you to do is use your whole foot and lift up through the arch. You're all done. We're going to do some active recovery. We're going to do a plank this time. We're going to come down and do the plank with the shoulder tap. And we're going to give you a little bit of rest, a little bit more core this time. We did reverse lunges this time. This time we're going to do the plank with the shoulder tap. So coming down and come up into plank. This is the advanced version. What you have to do here again is another core exercise where you have to work to keep those hips nice and level. Too hard, come onto knees. What we want to see when you're coming onto knees is that your bottom is actually tucked in. I don't want it all the way out the back. Invite your bottom to the party. 
Okay, feel the core come on. So you're gonna lift that belly button to spine. Make sure shoulders are locked back and down. Do not have your hands all the way out in front. When you're recovered, come back up. We've only got a few more seconds. Come on up. Look, there's only five seconds to go. May as well work. Three, two, one. Come up. It was good to have a break there because we're going straight into box jumps. We are. We so are. And... Go! Apparently I've missed one. Don't worry, we'll catch it up. Here we go. Nice and light with landings. V's pushing it out. Good. All right. So what you get is you're gonna get puffed. You're gonna get tired and it's gonna hurt a little bit. Fantastic. That is what it takes to get it off. You gotta feel it. Beautiful. Nice and light. Whee! Don't worry. Step it down now, take it back, get a little bit of recovery. Nice and slow. Good, it's been a very long day for us. Five more seconds. That's beautiful. Fantastic, missed squat, squat front kicks. We're gonna do that now. That'll be great after doing box squats, won't it? See, she's so excited. Let's do it. Four, three, two, one. There we go. Be slightly wider than shoulder hip part. Kicking forward. All right. Okay, keeping your hands to the front is going to help keep you nice and balanced. All right. Keep it going. 27 seconds to go. Here we go. Nice and light. Feel the burn. Good. Remember your breathing, so getting a rhythm in. Breathe out at the hardest part. In, out, in. That's going to help brace the core, help keep you nice and relaxed, help push you up. Breathing out when it's hard is going to help to activate everything. Rest time. You know what? You deserve, you deserve a plank. What do you think? I just have to check with the boss, that's all. Nice and easy. Coming down, we're going to show you the Plank with the toe tap out to the side here. Beautiful. Taking your time. So we're still working through core. A lot of the exercises that we've done today and throughout the whole program, we've used the whole core. They call it the core, it's the center of your body and the quality of your movements above and below depend on the quality of your core. So keeping it nice and strong, keeping it nice and braced. Very light taps out with the feet here. Really focusing not on how many toe taps out you can do and how fast you can do it, but how level you can keep your hips, making sure your elbows are still underneath your shoulders there. Don't let the bottom creep up. This is a time then it will. Make sure that the shoulders are nice and relaxed. You've done it. That's awesome. We're going over onto backs. Yeah. And you can have a rest in 20 minutes <laughs> when we're done. No, it's not that long, I'm lying. All right, we're going to bicycle crunches, nice and easy. Again, you're gonna focus on keeping that core anchored, belly button to spine, nice and stable. Beautiful quality movement there. If you feel this through your lower back, you can modify by having your feet not come down so low, you can have them come up a little bit higher. See how we make things easy for you? You can go faster and you can go slower. There you go and slow back to a normal position. Good work. Only 15 seconds to go or thereabouts. Here we go. And we're gonna go through again after this, so getting ready to come back up onto feet for toe taps after this. Three, two, and one. Really nice work. If you're getting a sweat up, you know you're doing it right. <laughs> we have success in the studio. All right, back in, back in front of the step. Reset the shoulders. Head in the game, let's go hard, toe taps. Okay, the reason we're gonna go hard now, this is the last set. You don't have to hold anything back. You don't have to keep anything in the tank because there's nothing else to do after this set. All right, this is the last time you'll do these today. Beautiful. Lovely work. Nice and light. Good. 
and staying nice and focused. So when you're feeling a little bit tired through here, what I want you to focus on is that picture of yourself that you have from 10 years ago when you're in the best shape of your life. There's a picture of the person that you aspire to be. That's what you need to bring to front of mind. It's also really helpful to find a really, really motivating a phrase and just keep saying it because you know what? Just keep this up and you can do it. There you go, you've got a rest. All right, and don't forget we're doing this together so we're not leaving you to do this on your own. All right, we're going down now. We into the last set of push-ups, okay. So start on feet, because if you start on knees all the time, come on down, get started. If you start on knees all the time, it really doesn't progress to coming up to toes. You don't automatically one day get magically really strong and be able to do it on your, on your feet. What we do is we, when we can't do any more on our toes, even if it's one or two, we come down, we do them on our knees, okay? And we get the muscle working, and then we come back up onto feet when we feel recovered. That's how you get stronger, okay? We just do a little bit at a time each day, and you keep practicing them. You know, there's not many things that you get right the first time. It takes practice. It's the same with running, it's the same with push-ups, it's the same with squats. Keep going. Almost there, just a few more seconds. Four. Three, two, and one. That's terrific. We're going to come up. We're going to get the heart rate back up again. Okay, there's a couple more things that we're doing with heart rate up. Okay, what I want you to focus on is calories out. This is what we're doing. If you're tracking what you're doing, you're putting in quite a bit of plyometrics for your food diary today. Let's go. You're burning a lot more calories. Yeah, it's a lot of energy to, to be able to jump up and down. You're working to get your body off the ground and then you're working to catch it so it doesn't splat. That's why we want it to be nice and quiet. You should barely hear those feet tap to ground. Nice and light movements. And you can notice with V, she's not catching at the top, she's catching with a nice soft knee. Okay, keep your breathing up. Really nice. You've only got a few more seconds to go. 10 seconds left. Nice and light. Five, four, three, two, and one. You can have a bit of a break again. We're going to do some active recovery. Going into side taps, okay? We're keeping the body on the ground, keeping it nice and stable. Shoulders are back, keeping the chest open. Pull the shoulder blades back and down at the bottom there. Fantastic, bend down, side tap out. Nice and light. Last set on this side. Well done. Very good balance. All right, this is the time we let the heart rate come back down again. Really important to keep your breathing going. It's when you've got a nice deep breath and you're getting that heart rate back down again, that gets rid of all that lactic acid buildup that we've been doing while we've been jumping and running around. Nice and light, nice and gentle. That's it, let the heart rate come back down to normal. You know, when we're doing intervals, we're really tricking the body and you notice throughout the program, we've done 20 second intervals, 30 second intervals, 40, 45 second intervals. We've not done intervals. Beautiful, well done. And that whole point of that is because we don't want the body to just keep doing the same thing. You need to vary your routine. And it is really important to do things that you enjoy, but you need to do different things. So we've been trying to give you a lot of different things that you can do. Let's go. Last side, good. And what we want to do is push out the work time that you've got. So you know, six weeks ago you started on 20 seconds. Look at you now, you're doing 45 seconds. And that's not a short amount of time. We're building it up gradually. And we're building it up. A little bit of strength, a little bit of cardio. Fantastic. A few more seconds left here. Make sure you're focusing in, relaxing the shoulders. Terrific. If you're working with a buddy, make sure that you check each other's form. If you can see that their shoulders are rounding, make sure you give them a bit of a bit of advice as well. Shoulders back and down. Well done, look at that. We're gonna do squat front kicks. It's great to do them here. <laughs> All right, feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart for this one. We've got three seconds left. We've rested, beautiful. But what we've done is we've rested cardio wise we didn't rest that glute and we're just going to ask it to work again and what we do want to do is make the muscles tired when they get tired and you give them a little bit more to do that's when they respond to that stress by getting a little bit stronger they get nice and lean takes a lot to bulk up for a woman and that's not what we're doing here at all 
So use your muscles, keep yourself nice and stable. This is the last set of these. Stay nice and gentle, nice and easy. 12 seconds to go. Take it really, really easy. Keep it coming nice and light. A few more to go. Two, last one here. Awesome, we're gonna go down and do that plank with the shoulder taps again. We're just gonna give you a little bit more recovery in this. All right, a few more seconds. Nice and light. Okay, getting the breath back. Go, 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 go. So, shoulder tap up. Beautiful. Start on your knees if you're feeling really tired after that. If you don't need that modification, if you want to just push it up a little bit more, come up onto toes. And what I want you to see here is that Vanessa has her shoulders over her hands. Make sure your head is in front of your hands. You do not want to have your hands in front of your face. It means you're pushing backwards. We want to just keep it nice and stable. Use the shoulders, stabilise, scapulas together, core is working, bottom is tucked, V's just recovering. Beautiful work. She's done a bit of work today, hasn't she? Three, two, one. We're going to come back up and do a little bit more work. How exciting we get to do our last set of box jumps. I'm so pumped to watch. No, this is good. Ready? Head in the game. See, even, you know, we all struggle, so you know it's going to be hard, but you do it anyway. Let's do it. Go. And again, at your level. If you're having trouble keeping up with this pace, then don't. Do it properly, do it slower. What we're focusing on is form, technique, safety, light landings. If you're struggling to do this at all, step up instead. Slow it down. There's a modification, you're still moving, okay? The whole point of the intervals is not to stop. Keep it going. There's so many ways that you just want to keep the body going. The more you can do it, if you can do it, do it. There's been a lot of research that comes out, your head will tire before your body will. So even when your head is saying stop, just listen to your body. If it can't do any more, it won't. That's called failure. We're going to come down and do another plank with side tap. Good job. Oh, don't worry, we reward V with a couple of carrot sticks afterwards and a glass of water. All right. Bottom down, side tap out. There you go. Focusing again on the plank. Okay, not rolling up through the middle of the back, not lifting the bottom up, keeping it nice and flat for us. Shoulders are down. Be really careful here, even in plank, people have a tendency to lift up through scapula, uh, through trapezius, bringing their shoulders up to their ears. Make sure you set shoulders back and down for us. Keeping that plank really, really steady. That's the hard part. And now this is your third set, so you should be feeling tired. You've only got 10 more seconds to go, so work it. Don't stop it. This is the bit where it gets challenging. Four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Bicycle crunches. Oh, I'm really enjoying this. Why don't we do another set? I think that's, that's Vanessa for maybe next time. All right, two, one. That's nice. Beautiful form. Nice and light. Now remember, you're going to be tired here. Use the muscles that we're aiming to tire out. We're trying to work core, okay? Is it switched on? Make sure pelvic floor is lifted. That's a light zip from back to front. Just a gentle squeeze. There's no core without pelvic floor, girls. Keeping that nice and stable. You can slow it down. You don't have to go 100 miles an hour. There you go, you're still working. It's still time under tension. You have just done a few less, but you're still working that core for an equal amount of time. You know what? I smell an end is near. <laughs> Congratulations, you've done it. You know what we're gonna do? Have a quick drink if you need to. We're gonna start our stretch. Oh, Vanessa is covered, is drenched. Here we go. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna do a couple of stretches. We've done a lot of work through the legs today, quads. Let's do it. All right, do you want me to help you? I'm gonna be her, I'm gonna be her wall. Are you right? Yep. She's so independent. Okay, nice and easy. You wanna make sure 
that knees are together. If you're not feeling that as a stretch, you can actually force your foot into your hand, use your hand to resist and push it down for three, two, one. Now pull that foot up a little bit higher. <laughs> <laughs> yep, other side. Good job. I'll be there. Knees are together. Good. You can get a bit of a hip flexor stretch by just pulling forward a little bit more. Good, good, good. What we're doing now is making sure the fronts of the legs get a stretch out. So all those box jumps, everything you've done, you're going to get a quite a bit of a hammering through your, the fronts of your legs. That's fine. We've also activated through uh, hammies and stuff today as well. What do we want to do now? We're going to do some hamstrings. Standing. Yep. This is such a nice one. So we want to make sure that we're not letting go through this back. We're going to keep this nice and flat. Good. If you can come down lower, terrific. You can come down onto arms. You can come all the way through. What we like to do when you get into position though, take a deep breath in, tell your body it's relaxed. And look, you release out a little bit more. Roll it up really gently through there. Really, really gently. A little bit of a standing glutes. Do a standing figure four for me. I'll be your pillar. That's what I do. Good, so sitting butt back, nice and easy. Good. You should feel the stretch right out through the side here and that's perfect. We've used that area a lot today. Good, ease it off, other side. Now there's a stack of resources. You've come into the end of the program, which is absolutely perfect. On the website, you can go back, you can have a look at diet plans, you can have a look at other exercise programs. It is really important to balance what you're doing. You can't do this program every single day. Even we don't train like this every single day. Chest stretch, you have to have some stretching. So go in, check out the yoga. There's a lot of, there's beginner. I know Holly's done a Hatha Yoga beginners class. Give it a go. Start at the beginners level, the basic, and move your way up through it. There's also some Pilates work. So take it down a notch and really work on your control. We're doing triceps. You notice V's head is back, so you're not gonna be pulling forward. If you're pulling forward, correct yourself, and you're just gonna push down through here. If you have questions, which is pretty natural, email us, jump on Facebook, jump on the website, jump on the forums, let us know. It's really important that we, we answer them and we give you the correct information. So we're really happy to speak to you if you need that. Um, there's plenty of resources all through the um, eFit30 website. If you need diet plans, if you need a hand putting together a program which is structured and tailored to you, drop us a line, have a look through and see what's there. Um, we look forward to um, hearing from you as well. I know that a lot of you are gonna have lost a lot of weight we love to hear how it's worked for you and, and how well you've done. So drop us a line, send us some photos, stay in touch and um, we'll see you hopefully again really, really soon. We hope you've done really well on the six-week challenge and we'll see you again shortly. I'm Justine, this is Vanessa, we're from Babes on the Run. See ya.